As it is seen around the world, graffiti is a problem that is known by many. From large cities to smaller communities, the distasteful acts are seen littering walls, buildings, and street signs. The problem that our team was presented with was from the city of South Daytona, where graffiti is becoming an increasing problem, especially seen on street signage. This problem is especially dangerous due to the interruptions it causes in traffic safety. We are taking part in solving this problem as one of our senior capstone projects. Working a problem through the Volusia STEM has allowed us to further our real world outreach. We were asked to produce our own solution to remove the spray paint that covers signs across South Daytona. Many times, removal of graffiti is done by using harsh chemicals that can have negative effects on the environment that surround that community. Our hope in participating in this challenge is to have this not be the reality within our community. On top of finding a non-toxic solution, a cost-effective one is needed as well. Less money needed means the less time it will take to have a turnaround time for these signs. We worked on many different solutions to create the best possible product, but in the end, we settled on this one. To create our solution, we used one cup of borax, one cup of washing soda, one cup of ammonia, two cups of water, one water will also be used for the cleaning, a rag or two, a scrub brush, and gloves. Okay. We applied our solution to the sign generously and allowed for a 30 minute period in which the cleaning solution could break down the spray paint. As we began to experiment with different solutions, we realized we needed a solution that could not only remove the spray paint, but allow the signage to stay intact. When we put this solution to the test, it did both these things, breaking down the spray paint while also leaving the sign lettering intact. Always remember though, during this time, the person applying the chemicals should be wearing both protective eyewear and gloves to ensure their safety. After we removed the solution, we gave the sign a quick rinse. Most of the spray paint had come off during this period. We then began to scrub away the remaining paint. Using warm water shows the best results when trying to remove with the solution. During our trials, we learned that this solution has many pros, but a few cons as well. This is a non-toxic solution that removes spray paint within the hour. The total cost to make a batch of it is a low price of two cents an ounce. Saying this though, we did run into a few problems, such as scrubbing too hard and scratching the reflective film off, and under the conditions of 60 degrees Fahrenheit, the solution is able to become frozen when not disturbed. With these observations, we have come to the conclusion that this is a cost-effective, non-toxic method, yet may not be the best for repairing these signs. With further research, we were able to test soft scrub bleach, a commercial item that was able to remove the spray paint more effectively, and cost was found as low as 12 cents an ounce. The solution is more accessible to public works and is a common product found in the workplace. But due to the project constraints, our solution compares closely to the soft scrub while also being more affordable.